Hey guys, uh, here on the Swing Studio of People's Gold Club, as I mentioned before. So what I'm going to talk about is five points to know about your downswing pin. So five important points that I, I like to employ when I'm playing and teaching myself. But obviously it's it's different for everybody, but it's getting into a feeling of doing that in order for you to improve the consistency that you want, okay? So as I was taking the club back, okay, so my left shoulder should move from underneath my chin. So from this position, if my left shoulder moves underneath the chin, the right shoulder comes through, okay? So if my shoulders move underneath my chin, then that, is, that allows me to be able to rotate, okay? So if I was to get into a backswing position from here, my spine moves in the opposite direction to my, my shoulders. This allows, so by my spine moving back to the way, so if I was to get top of the backswing, so the left shoulder's under in contact with my chin on the way back, but what happens is, that has to be released, so from this position, the left wrist, the left arm releases underneath the chin. But what happens is the spine moves, the head moves back the way to allow our, our spine angle to maintain position, okay? And from this, this allows our arms a free passage to, to move into the golf ball, okay? So if our spine, is, spine angle is maintained as it was at a dress, but our head moves back the way in order to allow our arms to rotate around our left shoulder, okay? So from here, our left shoulder goes from underneath our chin, spine moves back the way, allowing us to create more spine angle and create a shallow angle attack, okay? So the left wrist, or the left arm, sorry, um, should release from underneath the, the chin, okay? Our shoulders are still rotating, but what happens is, let's focus on this right knee. So if I was to get a sick cane, sorry, then from this position, what happens is the right knee, as the left wrist, or the left arm moves from underneath the chin, the right knee kicks in the way inside the toe line, okay? So I see a lot of golfers releasing early where their right knee moves out too early towards their toes, okay? This puts pressure on the toes and puts pressure away from the golf ball, okay? So we're going to get that high handle, okay? So this toe needs to move in the way, this knee needs to move inside our toe line, okay? So top of that swing, left arm releases underneath the chin, spine angle moves back the way in order for us to get this left shoulder to turn through. As we come through, the right shoulder comes through, but post, before that, the right knee kicks in the way, inside the toe line, okay? Not out towards the golf ball, inside the toe line. Because if we move, if we, if anything our knees do, our hips follow, okay? So, if we start the downswing, we need to feel like this left knee moves out the way quickly, okay? So, it starts from the foot up the way, so the left knee should move this way. It doesn't move in, it moves this way, okay? That opens up our hips, right? From here, this should help the right knee kick in. Obviously, the left hip's always in front of the, the right side on the way through, okay? So, left hip kicks in the way, right knee kicks in the way. So, if the right knee kicks in the way, then that allows us to get this foot off the ground. So, if we get this foot off the ground, then that's where we're able to create that thrust up to hit the golf ball, okay? So, another thing note to note is, as we come through, our spine angle changes its angle after impact, okay? So, let's say we've got a marginal line. As I take the club back, then the right knee kicks in the way. Then my spine angle changes position as my arms get well past impact. What this does, it releases pressure off the back, okay? So, a lot of golfers that kind of keep the back static and they get this chicken wing, it's because they're the pressure still on their back and they're trying to reduce pressure by buckling up their arms, okay? So, we need to release that tension off our back by getting our spine angle to change and then getting our arms to release the spine and focus on, so okay? Just talked about important notes to focus on in this one, okay? So, five things we need to focus on is when we take it come back and then we start transition from winding to unwinding, okay? So, change, initiate that change in direction, okay? So this right knee kicks in the way, okay, so from here, because that right knee kicks in the way, that automatically opens up my hips, okay. So if my hips open up, then that right knee should be slightly inside my toe line. So from here, my, if I'm coming through impact, a good job to focus on is, a good tip, sorry, is to try and get this right shoulder closer to the target than your left, okay. So if I get that right shoulder to fold, the left shoulder extends back the way, okay. So from here, my head, so my head's in a good position though, so my head should be focused on this golf ball from here, because I take it back, right knee kicks in the way, my right 
my left hip slightly ahead of my right hip, okay, and then to initiate the opening of the hips to try and get the hands to go to the left and release the club, okay. So from here, my right arm goes underneath the chin. So by doing that, that focuses on getting our body to fold back this way, or opening up, sorry, to try and get the right shoulder close to the target and as the left shoulder folds, okay. So my head should be in a slightly forward position because my, my right shoulder is moving forward. That'll help you try and get into a better release pattern and reduce any errors throughout your golf swing. So, so five tips to focus on there. So if you've got any thoughts on the video, let me know and subscribe to my channel at JLI Golf. And if you want to discuss any more topics, comment below. And if you like the video, thumbs up. Um, and follow me on Instagram at JLI Golf, Facebook and Twitter, all the JLI Golf.